tutorial video from JCV Arrow Labs. This tutorial video is related to, related to how to interface uh, ultrasonic sensor to ESP32 uh, using ESP IDF programming. Here I am using uh, RM, uh, RMT remote control uh, functionality of ESP32. We also provide online training and do industrial and freelancing projects based on embedded system lab view and uh, android app development if you have any requirement then you can contact us through our website www.jcvrolabs.org and you can mail us info at the rate jcvrolabs.org now here you can see uh, our setup uh, this is uh, our 16 cross 2 lcd and this is uh, ultrasonic sensors and uh, this our esp32 and this is uh, uh, we need some power supply because uh, uh, this uh, operate on 5 volt and uh, ESP32 only provide 3.3 volt so I used their pin uh, uh, for 5 volt power supply now let's start now here you can see this is our uh, VCC power supply and this is trigger pin, this is eco pin, this is ground pin and this is RX and TX when we transmit signals from this and if object any detect from this it will reflect and receive on RX and during this time uh, time period uh, is measured and according to uh, because uh, I'll uh, speed of uh, sound uh, 340 point something uh, meter per second we consider and then we calculate uh, according to them uh, distance is equal to time into speed so this uh, principle it is work on this principle and now I'll go for programming how to program uh, ultrasonic sensor interfacing let's start I'm going to open my folder where I created my project directory here idea project I created now I am going to create a new folder and give name here ultrasonic enter and some required files I will copy from here control C and paste it in ultrasonic sensor now all their files are copied some files will be deleted just like build will be delete okay and edit cmake lists according to my project name because my project name is ultrasonic not bling Okay, save it and go in main folder and delete this file and create a new text file and save it as my source file name is ultra dot c ok this is my source file name save it 
to this and delete text document file and edit CMake list file according to your source file. So here this is ultra and save this close and now open your VS code and select open folder here go in your project directory uh, this is and go in ultrasonic and select this okay go in main and you can see here this is source file and now you can write here code full code in this program i am not going to discuss how to interface lcd because i already discussed in previous videos how to interface 16 cross 2 lcd if you are not aware you can visit our uh, video and go through it and then start this pro uh, program now i am going to include some header files first uh, i am going to <coughs> copy um, one lcd.h header file from my <coughs> already created project okay this cd control c i have already created this so i'm not going to discuss here how to code 16 cross 2 lcd and i'm going to paste it okay now open my code and include some important header files Here I am including my lcd.h shutter file. Okay. Hey, ESP32 RMT has 10 channels and I am considering channel number 1 here so has defined RMT underscore TX channel 
as a one and uh, second is rmt tx gpio number Here I am defining for Rx channel. So here I am considering uh, channel number zero as a Rx. So as defined, RMT remote control RMT underscore Rx underscore channel. Zero. Now forward. RMT channel for receiver now for the GPIO so RMT underscore rx underscore gpio number underscore number so i am here pin underscore echo because uh, rx pin or receiver pin or echo and uh, transmitter pin is trigger pin So this is GPI number for receiver. Now here defining and defining clock divider. So RMT clock divider RMT underscore clock divider is hundred. Counter clock divider. As defined, RMT underscore TX underscore carrier underscore enable is zero so because I am disable this disable carrier this is timeout value for the rmt receiver it has defined rmt underscore item 32 underscore p okay has defined rmt underscore underscore 10 underscore 2 as means microsecond what 80,000 okay 80 megahertz because our 80 dB uh, frequency is 80 megahertz and now divided by RMT clock division RMT 
underscore block underscore division and divide by okay so here is RMT counter value for ten microsecond. I have to find underscore duration Now here I am defining a pin number, so has defined pin underscore trigger acting and has defined Now I am going to print a message on uh, LCD. So character message. I take an array and passing this name distance. Okay, and now. Finished character message two, and this is blank string. And sign cat pointer. Message underscore str. This is I am passing message. Okay, and unsigned car message underscore st2 and passing message. Message two. Okay. Now def now define TX init function. So static static wired 
HC SR04 underscore TX underscore image so RMT underscore config is a structure RMT underscore TX now <clears throat> assigning rmt underscore tx dot channel one equal to 3 kilohertz Passing RMT underscore TX.
install driver so imt underscore tx channel okay, this function is defined over now go for rx this is for tx and go for rx so static void hcsr0 Zero four underscore RX RX underscore in it. RMT underscore config underscore t where rmt underscore rx not tfc and rmt underscore rx dot channel 1 We are passing a structure RMT underscore RX and install driver RMT underscore driver install
Now this is our main function, and I am here call hcsr04 init function or tx init function. So this tx and Rx init function this and now lcd underscore init now here I am initialize LCD so LCD underscore init function I call here and now LCD underscore command passing cursor at first position and LCD underscore a string and passing message underscore str and now rmt underscore item 32 underscore t this is item and item dot level 0 is 1 item dot level 0 is equal to 1 and item for duration not duration this is duration duration 0 is equal to rmt underscore tick microsecond and I turn dot level 1 is equal to 0 and duration what duration 10 microsecond or one pulse this so I turn dot duration one equal to RMT ten microsecond and now size size underscore T RX receiver buffer RX underscore size ring buff handle underscore p this is rv and assigning in this null this is the auto function rmt underscore get A ring buff underscore handle rmt underscore get 
underscore ring buff underscore handle and passing this passing in this rmt underscore rx channel comma and person rb okay and now double double this is distance is equal to zero this is a variable I take here and while loop and this is infinite while loop and in this while loop I am starting rmt underscore rx underscore start RMT underscore RX underscore channel one RMT underscore right underscore items. percent item comma one and comma two R and D underscore beat underscore T F underscore done this is our library function and rmt personal argument rmt underscore tx underscore channel and if port max delay port
and cd let's go command ingress h t This is a function. First argument is the passing buffer, and second is I'm passing first and zero point two f, and now. Printing distance. It is in meter, and I am going to convert in centimeter. So I multiply 100. Okay, and int i equal to zero. And while loop. And buff. Is going to i not equal to slash zero here lcd underscore data lcd underscore data Data and bar of i i plus plus. Now it's by loop over and v. And G ring R I N G ring buffer return item. And passing R V comma wide pointer and or what item and uh, we task delay. We task delay and divide by fourth tick underscore period P E R I O D period underscore millisecond. Now its code is over. Now finish it. Going to check, recheck once again. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to build this code here. 
let's check anything error so i will remove now error is removed okay you can see here some error occurred uh, on this this is rmt underscore item 32 underscore timeout microsecond 95,000 9500 and uh, you can edit according to accordingly and here is this is true not time and uh, go here and edit accordingly and uh, now go in here here you can edit here this this is x ring buffer receive and this is pointer asterisk sign and correct it and now this is ok for burning and wait for one second now you can see there our ultrasonic sensor is working finally when i uh, move my hand on behind the ultrasonic session is detected this is how how oh, yeah, it is detected when I move my hand this is yes this is working finally and it's all about how to interface uh, ultrasonic sensor using uh, ESP IDF programming in ESP32 and now uh, we also provide online training and do industrial and freelancing project if you have any requirement then you can contact our website Thank you very much.